Hi there, YouTube. I just want to say that I am sick and tired of conspiracism. The cult or religion or whatever you wish to call it, the belief, the idea, the theories of conspiracy theorists. That's why I oppose you. That's why I debate you. That's why I do these debunking kind of videos on my channels. Because I don't like bullshitters. Now some people don't like that. They say, oh well, you're just closed-minded. Well, let's think rationally, shall we? Closed-minded, open-minded. Open-minded, believe everything, and what happens? You get nowhere, because you believe everything. Or believe the first theory that comes along, which sounds right to you. Oh, that sounds good. I'm going to believe Alex Jones. I'm going to believe David Icke. I'm going to believe um, David Wilcock, of all things. Um, you know, people who do that. And then there's people who are rational, rationalists, who will say, okay, we know this according to the facts. We can't be sure about this. We can't be sure about that. That theory sounds possible, but is there something more rational? So you go to different ideas, you try out different things, you try testing, you try getting more information, you try looking at things in a factual way, and you're very open-minded, you'll say, okay, you've just given me a theory, which sounds possible, it could be, but are there other ideas which are more rational, more realistic, which could be more true, and indeed could be the actual truth? A rationalist doesn't write off theories, they just simply look for the most rational, logical, realistic idea and say that is probably true. They don't say we have the truth, they don't say we know it's the, I don't know, the New World Order or something like that. David Icke, in my videos about him, classic example of an irrational man, David Icke. How is the world controlled? Oh, it's the Freemasons who are controlled by an Illuminati group. And through the Freemasons and other secret societies, they control corporations, blah, 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 blah. Now, if that is true, there should be clear, confirmable evidence of the connections between all of these organisations. The fact is, there is not clear, determined evidence of all of his theories. David Icke will give you a few examples and act like he is the realist, he is the rationalist, but he hasn't got the full truth. He doesn't give you the full proof, and he makes you believe that his view, his ideas, are indeed correct. But it's a lie. He hopes that because he puts his theory which sounds correct, and he can show a few examples, that it must be true. But a rationalist, a person with a logical and indeed in cases, sceptical mind will look at the facts, look at the information, and look at the whole situation. Not simply the parts of the theory that work, but the big picture. And when you do that, you get a genuine appraisal of the situation. That's why it's so easy to debunk uh, David Icke, Alex Jones, and other conspiracy theorists. Because they base their theories on certain ideas, and they can prove or allegedly prove certain elements of those theories, but through logical, rational interpretation, and indeed simply just looking at the facts as they stand, you can see their so-called evidence is nothing of the sort. The fact is, conspiracy theorists, we do live in a very corrupt world, we do live in a very dangerous world, a very complex world, and you can't put it down to the simplistic view of conspiracism it simply is not logical. Now, if you have proof, evidence of certain corruptions, certain activities, whether it's by government or corporations, that does not equal New World Order. Every time there's a story on Russia Today, on their YouTube channel, or on their, well, it's from their news channel, obviously, but it's on their YouTube channels, and you watch the video, and you end up with literally hundreds, if indeed not thousands, of conspiracy theorists going to those videos and saying it's all part of an Illumi Illuminati plot. And what is the story about? Something simple about passing through legislation, trying to deal with the economic crisis or something else. 
They think it's all weaved in to this global conspiracy. Every time there's a problem over in any part of the world, they say it's part of the conspiracy. Even so-called natural disasters and man-made disasters, they say it must be part of the conspiracy. From the Japanese tsunami, the Haiti earthquake and tsunami, Indonesian tsunami, they love the tsunamis, and every other event. And it only gets worse when you go into 2012ers, Planet X and the Buru and all that stuff. It is just insane. But if you look beyond the simplistic and obvious answers they give out as being the truth, you realise the truth is not contained within simple explanations for what is. The truth is in the fact. And that's where I would prefer to base my logic rather than basing it upon theories which cannot be substantiated.